Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 28th video in Windows Server 2016 tutorial. So, in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure FTP server on Windows Server 2016. So, in a Windows Server FTP server role is going to install from a web server and it's going to run on IIS. So, in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure FTP server and how to access the FTP server from FileZilla or anything any third party tool and you can how you can work with FTP server so so here is my lab environment which I'm going to use in this demo so I'm using basically three virtual machines the first virtual machine is Win2K16 DC01 which is my Active Directory server you can see Active Directory and DNS role is running on this machine and my domain name is victorinfosol.local and if I go here you can see this is win 2 k 16 dc01 and you can see active directory and dns role is running on this machine so this is basically my domain controller and the second machine i have win 2 k 16 fs01 which is where i'm going to install the ftp server role so this machine is currently joining my domain victor info soul and this machine having 8 gig of ram and uh, the IP address is 192.168.1.202 so here is FS1 so this is a brand new computer which is just joined in my domain so you can see I have two drive here one for OS and one for data which I'm going to make it for FTP server data so just going to rename it so we can verify this is for FTP this drive is for FTP and the th third machine we have a uh, windows 8 uh, windows 8 hyphen cl01 which is my windows client basically on where i am going to access this ftp server after configuring the ftp server on this machine so this is my windows client and this machine is also joined in my domain which is victor .com. so everything looks good so let's uh, start so i'm on my f fs01 server which is my file server basically where i am going to install my my ftp server so i'm going to click on manage add role and features and before you begin you need to verify you have a strong password ip address configuration so all this so ftp server is a web based installation web ba uh, web server installation which is role based so go for it and here our server fs01 click next um, under server role feature we need to select web server which is IIS so add features and click next no need to select any feature here just click on next and web server role what is web server it's going to the default installation of IIS is a include installation role and all these things so good to go click next and here you can see we have a multiple things here which is web server automatically selected which is like a base configuration for uh, uh, to run the web services so I'm going to select here FTP server so I'm going to use FTP server and FTP service so click next and all set just need to click on install button to begin the installation so the installation is very lightweight it's just going to take a few seconds or less than one minute to get the installation done for FTP server after that we can go and uh, basically this is installing IS role on our server then af after that we can go ahead and create our FTP website and we can put the details there so just wait for it So now you can see the installation succeeded on our file server so go ahead and click close button now you can see we have is role installed and which is showing on dashboard so i'm going to run open the is manager so click on tools and here we have internet information services so click on that so now you can see if we expand the server name and sites i having only one uh, default website which is basically a um, a default website in IF so I'm going to right click on site and we have option here add FTP site so I'm going to click on it and if you see here 
we have a FTP site name so I'm going to put here FTP uh, call web and the physical path is a basically a path where uh, the FTP server is going to store that uh, data so I'm going to make it in a D drive and I'm going to create one folder call it FTP root and click OK so this is my drive uh, the physical path where FTP is going to contain, uh, store the data so click next and here you can see binding IP address so basically if you have a more than one IP address or NIC on your um, FTP server you can uh, bind all but if you have any specific so I'm going to use my specific NIC which I'm going to use here so I'm going to select that and port number you can modify the port number uh, by default FTP data port number is 28 so I'm going to use the default port number and here you can see FTP's, uh, FTP uh, start FTP site automatically so it's going to start uh, FTP website automatically once it's like IS gets rebooted or machine got rebooted so this is required and also we have a SSL certificate if you have any SSL certificate to provide a encrypted authentication and everything you can select that if you don't have you can go with the no SSL and click next and he, this is the main one of the important part here authentication and authorization information so uh, to whom you are going to give the access to uh, to uh, to access this FTP server so basically anonymous if you are going to select it means uh, everyone is going to get the access for this um, um, FTP site so I'm going to select here basic authentication and I'm going to select the authorization type I'm going to specify specific uh, specified roles or users group so I'm going to create one group in my AD just call it like FTP access group so uh, I don't have this account uh, group yet created so I'm going in my active directory server mm, in active directory under the groups I'm going to create one new group here call it FTP hyphen access hyphen group and click OK and uh, now I'm going to add a member of this user group so I'm going to select few users like I have a template user from 0, 01 to 0, 05 so I'm going to select all users so basically all these users are going to get the access for my FTP server so good to know that and now I'm going to give them permission read and write both so click finish you can see the FTP site is created and it's here and everything looks good if you want to go and restart you can anytime go and restart the FTP server and if you want to edit binding you can go and bind your next and whatever information if you want to bind so this is this is how you can manage the FTP also if you want you can go and modify the edit setting security setting to whom you want to give the permissions so or shares everything so this is all the information about the FTP and now we are going to access the FTP server so so I'm on my Windows client and I'm going to download the file Zilla so I'm going to type FileZilla. This is a uh, FTP client, so I'm going to use download this FileZilla. It's a very easy tool to work with uh, FTP server. So I'm going to download it. So run this. to install this so I'm going to install the FileZilla client so I'm going to install for all the users just click next next and finish the installation So it's done, just click on the start filezilla now. 
and here you need to put the IP address of files uh, FTP server so I am putting the uh, IP address of my FTP server which is here you can see 192.168.0.202 and then I'm going to put the username which having access and the password for this account and the port so just click on connect so you can see directory uh, listen listing successfully so it's connected with our server and logged in retrieving directory so everything looks good so now I'm going to create one directory here call user 01 data and I'm just going to copy some create one text file and upload in or make it like user 01 and I'm going to save this file I want to transfer this file from here so I'm going to open my desktop and browsing under the folder I'm going to click on upload so you can see the file has been transferred successfully now if I go here my FTP server you can see the folder is created and I have that uh, uh, text file so it's working and now I'm going to uh, log in with the second user which is user 02 and port number quick connect so I want to create a new session so and see here the session has been created and now if I go here and create one user 02 and type like user 02 so I just want to make sure that my all the groups the users having access which is created in groups so I'm going to call it user 02 mm, data and now I'm going to move that file so upload so it's completed so now if I go here I can see all the folders created and the data is there so also you can go here on your root folder and you can download this root folder so if you click here you can see here the download is completed and we have both the folders here so this is how you can configure install and configure FTP server and you can work with FTP client or FTP server so this is all about the um, how to install and configure FTP server on Windows Server 2016 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye